All right, hi guys. Uh, this video is just a, a quick video to explain how you can actually go about setting up and installing um, Assignment 5 here. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to go and create a new uh, Java project, okay? So start up your Eclipse or your Spring Source Tool Suite or, or uh, whatever um, uh, IDE it is that you use. Um, in, in STS or Eclipse, this is how you do it. I just right click in the Package Explorer. Uh, and say, and if you don't have the package explorer view open, you can go show view, and uh, usually it's listed in. Uh, oh, that's project explorer, um, package explorer here. Or you can do apparently Alt Shift Q and then P, uh, a nice long um, shortcut for you. So that should open up the package explorer view. You right click in it, and you say new, you say new Java project, and you create um, the project name. So for this one, I'm going to say it's practice assignment. Um, five and then I just say finish so that'll create a sort of empty project for you with a source folder um, with nothing in it and uh, and then what you'll do is you'll right click on the practice assignment 5 okay and you can go to import okay so then what you'll do is hopefully you've already downloaded and unzipped the, uh, the, the actual project file from the how to program with Java blog um, so be sure to do that. Um, unzip it into a folder of your choosing. And then um, when you're importing, go to the uh, general folder. It'll be the top folder. And you ch uh, choose file system. You say next. And then you'll browse to the actual directory that gets unzipped um, from that project folder. So for me, I unzipped it on my C drive in my Spring Source folder. And it's right here, practice assignment 5. Okay, so inside you'll see the dot settings directory, bin, lib, and source. Um, but you just select the actual root directory, practice assignment 5, and you say OK. And, uh, and then it shows up in here. You check it to say that you want to um, import it, and you say finish. And just say no to all for overriding the class path, because you want to keep your own class path. And, uh, and there you go. So everything is now um, actually imported. But you see that there's these errors in the tests uh, folder, um, I get about you know 18 different errors, and that's because um, your class path is not properly set up. All right, so what you need to do is um, you need to right click on Practice Assignment 5, go to Properties, and choose Java Build Path. Okay, and then you'll go to the Libraries tab inside of the Java Build Path, and you'll add jars. Okay. Jar files are the uh, the Java archive files that are needed um, for the the program or the application to properly uh, compile and run. So go to the lib directory and choose th those three um, jar files and just say OK. So now those three jar files will be added to your library section of your build path. And then when you say OK, you'll see that all the problems will go away. Okay, and if the problems didn't go away, then you go to project, and perhaps you need to check the build automatically um, option. Okay, so just check that, and sometimes it doesn't work right away. You have to say clean, and then you say okay to clean everything and rebuild, and then all your exceptions should go away, and you're ready to go. So to start off, you just go to the tests as always. Um, I like to click on the uh, tests um, uh, name, class name. Right click on it, you say run as to run the tests, and you say JUnit test. Okay? And you'll see right away all of them will fail. So, what happens? Well, you need to actually go in and, um, and the system under test. So, what it is that we're testing is the factorial class. Um, so, you'll see system under test is what is being tested, and it's testing the factorial method. So, if you actually go into the factorial method, you open the declaration of it you'll see that you need to actually implement the uh, the code in here okay and there's a little blurb that explains what it is this method should do and um, and then you should go ahead and do it and implement the code and keep running your uh, unit tests and once all your unit tests are passing then uh, it, that should be good it means you you have successfully completed the assignment all right so hopefully that uh, helps you set things up and I wish you the best of luck with uh, with completing the assignment so take care